general government buildings is actually this building. Yes, of course. That's what the chairman. appropriation is for. Government buildings account 4195 Here's a line item. And I believe the number is 102382. Would you like Correct. to, are you making a motion? And that is what I'm making a motion to, that Mr. Second. Sloth just seconded. Okay, so Tim made the motion and Mr. <coughs> Plouffe seconded it. Did you get the number, Barbara? 102382. Yeah, called government buildings. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Welch. The only change in this uh, appropriation request is for building <coughs> maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, problems with the roof in this building, mm -hmm. and it's going to cost us between three and five thousand dollars a year for the next ten years in order to keep it going. It's starting to blister, mm -hmm. uh, and as opposed to <coughs> removing the entire roof and redoing the entire roof all the way down to the boarding. Uh, we are trying to save it so we don't have to have all that expense at one time. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we've shown a number of blisters. We've had a number of leaks in the last year, and we have our person come in and, and check everything, and, and they've been in and done about $3,500 worth of work this year. Uh, we expect that there will be another $3,500 to $4,000 worth of work in the early spring and then some more work in the summer, they're telling us. Uh, we also recently uh, had to replace because of cracking uh, all of these stairs on the spiral staircase going upstairs. Uh, several of those staircases are, are wood, wood frames are broken. They're sitting on top of a metal frame, as you probably know. And they are broken and cracked. Uh, and there's, some of them are split right down the middle, so they're no longer stable. They're, they actually teeter when you walk on them, so we've closed it off. The, three, the two areas that are <coughs> the most serious concern are being replaced this week. And they'll be recarpeted next week, the beginning of the week. And uh, next year, we're going to have to replace about four more. We're doing them as they fail, uh, as opposed to just stripping the entire thing down and just making a mess. Uh, we can do it a little bit at a time and save on that expense. It's, it's not dangerous. We just need to coordinate it off when the work needs to be done. Yeah. I think that um, you've got to keep the building up. You've got you've got maintenance that has to be done. Is it a flat roof, a rubber roof, membrane type of thing? It's a uh, oil and tar. Oh, uh, um, <coughs> stubble. Yeah, it's, gravel it's, finish. it's a gravel finish. Well, that sounds uh, like if it has to be removed, we are going to have to go to a membrane. Yeah, no question okay. about it. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. <coughs> uh, anybody have any questions for Fred? Go ahead, Tim. Are you, as you're doing these section by section, and you're going right down to the border, you're just re retopping it. Well, <clears throat> we're getting blisters, <coughs> uh, and what they're doing is they're taking the blister out and redoing that particular portion, okay. and we're making sure we flash around all the protrudents in the buildings, okay. and we have a number of uh, furnaces, I'll call them, but heating units and air conditioning right. units on the top of the roof. We make sure those are properly flashed and sealed every, every time they go up. Yeah. Flat roofs can be a real constant problem. They are. Even, even when you replace them as a whole, yeah. you still end up having problems. <laughs> So That's replacing correct. it by piecemeal probably makes more sense than it might otherwise sound. It, so. Actually, it does because <laughs> we are actually sealing the roof for those areas where it's it's weak. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome, Tim. Anybody else? Yeah, has the building inspector looked at the building? <laughs> yes, he has. That's why we're repairing it. Yeah. That's right. All set, Sonny? Yep. Thank you very much. Um, anybody else have anything for Mr. Welch? Seeing none, all those in favor? <coughs> And it is unanimous. Thank you Thank very you. much, sir.